Hello, everyone. Uh, we're here with Tamsin Mather. Thank you so much for your time today, yeah, Tamsin. Great to see you. Oh, great to see you, too. Uh, <laughs> of course, you are the co-chair of the Science Committee here at Goldsmith, as well as a professor of Earth Sciences at the University of Oxford. Uh, man, we're happy to have you, and we're just going to get right into it. As co-chair of Goldschmidt's Science Committee, how does the committee work to ensure that Goldschmidt meetings remain at the forefront of innovation and research within the geochemistry community? Well, with uh, the science program for Goldschmidt, uh, we try and do a mixture of kind of bottom-up bottom and top-down approaches mm -hmm. in terms of uh, thinking about themes, thinking about guidance for the community, giving people a structure to work within, uh, but then really relying on the community itself to suggest the sessions that they want. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's through that facilitating that participation from the broad geochemistry community that, that we really get the, uh, the best programs. Absolutely. So you're actually listening to the people who come to the meetings to ensure that those meetings are yeah, or interesting for them. That's right. Or putting to putting out a putting a structure that allows them to make the suggestions excellent. for what they want. That's very kind. Yeah, that is bottom up. I, I see what you're saying. All right, excellent, excellent. Uh, not that people are at the bottom. You know, students are no, valuable no. too. We know that. We know that. <laughs> yeah, the more student participation we can get, the better. So often we don't have so many sessions suggested by students, but it's great if students have stuff, if they maybe find someone more experienced to co-propose co with. Uh, we have the theme chair structure, so the science committee is at the sort of top level, and then we, we appoint the theme chairs, and then the theme chairs reach out to people um, or take suggestions and build the program like that. So that's what I mean by kind of mixed uh, top-down, bottom-up type of structure. And I mean, when I say bottom-up, I mean more like a sort of you know, it, it's an hourglass of a shape in gotcha, some way. Gotcha. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either way, dynamic. Yeah, uh, very that's, organic. That's the aim. Like but yeah, it requires participation from the community to to really get the best out of it. Excellent. So participate. <laughs> All right. So, can you share some of the key themes and, or areas of focus that were prioritized in this year's Goldschmidt meeting, and how do these reflect the current trends and challenges in geochemistry? Well. We have a real mixture of stuff going on here, right? And we have stuff that uh, that's really what I would sort of call discovery mode. You know, we want to go out there and learn about meteorites. We want to go out there and learn about really fundamental scientific things. Uh, all sorts of different reasons, you know, like the origins of our planet, the origins of the solar system. Um, if you're me as well, like actually understanding subduction zone processes. I'm a, a volcanologist by training. Big so fan of subduction, I know, yeah, I'll yeah, tell you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, tectonic process, early Earth stuff really fundamental stuff about ocean chemistry and things like that. But I think something that we really wanted to bring out this year was also how important geochemistry is for the future of humanity. Um, and we had this interesting situation where we didn't realize, but then the DNC announced they were going to be in town at the same time. Yeah, it's been and busy in Chicago. That's kind of changed the vibe, but we sort of, uh, so we put this cross-cutting theme 14 in. Um, which was to try and capture some of the idea, the different ways in which geochemistry yeah, move forward, moves forward for the good of humanity um, and societal problems. And that's not just about solving things like where do you put nuclear waste or climate change or any of the big things. It's also about thinking how we build a, a, an equal and diverse community of scientists to tackle those questions as well.